Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about understanding macronutrients. And when you're starting a low carb keto diet, how in the world are you supposed to figure out how many macros to eat every single day? If you wanna know that answer, keep watching. All right guys, so here it is. Macronutrients are all of the essential, essential nutrients in the foods that you eat. But on low carb keto, we really focus on three main ones. The first would be protein, the second would be carbohydrates, and the third would be fat. Those are the three things that I am as a keto coach mostly focused on. I will look into people's sodium and I will look into their sugar counts, but the three main ones are the fat, carbohydrates, and protein. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's figure out what you can input into my fitness pal if you belong to that app, which I highly recommend. You guys hear me talk about it often. It's very important to track the food that you put in your mouth every single day. And the, the reason is twofold. One, it keeps you accountable. If you're tracking your food, just like on many other weight loss plans, you know what you intake. And you know if you don't lose some weight that week, it probably is because you overdid it. If you don't track, you can lose count of what you're eating. And most people that need to lose weight or desire to lose weight... Uh, really do well when they track. So instead of writing it down on a piece of paper and all that other stuff, we move forward to the year 2015 and we input it in our technology, i.e. phone, iPad, computer, whatever you have. I love my fitness pal. I think it's, it, I would not do as well as I have or do without it. So get yourself on my fitness pal account. When you do that, the, these are the percentages that I would like you to input and try to follow. I would like you to dedicate yourself to these numbers for at least a month and then we can tweak it. Okay. What, what they are, are this for protein. I want you to input that your protein should be 20% of your daily calories, 20%. Your carbohydrates, I want you to input them at 5%. 5% of your entire daily food intake for carbohydrates should be 5%. And your fat should be, uh, I'm gonna say between, I'm gonna say 75% because I gave you 20 and five. So yes, yeah, 75% for fat. All right, once you put that into my fitness pal, it does ask you how many calories you would like. Guys, I don't want you focusing on calories early on in the beginning. You have to get yourself adapted. And when I say adapted, I mean you have to get your body into fat burning mode. Switch it over because right now, if you're not following keto or low carb, your body is using glucose for its energy. And we want your body to deplete itself of glucose and we want your body to understand that the fat you're eating and the fat on your body is what it needs to use for the for the fuel of every day. Until that switch happens, which could take several weeks to a few months depending on you, uh, I don't want you to focus so much on the calorie count because when you are ingesting high fat foods, guys, your calories are going to be more than uh, just a carbohydrate -y type food. You're, you're in essence trying to get 75% of your daily intake from fat. Good fat, not junk fat. Good fat. Olives, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, butter, all of those good fats. You can get good fats from animal protein. I also have a question. Uh, I forget who asked me, so I apologize that I'm not mentioning your name, but um, they were having a conversation with a bunch of people in regards to keto and people thinking that it's such a horrible way of life because you're eating all this fat and everything else. Um, the question was regarding a ribeye steak. They were wondering how they input that. Do they input that under protein? Do they input that under fat? My fitness pal will do it for you. It will break the food that you put down in. It will break it down into its proper macronutrients. But as a frame of reference, any animal protein will have protein, fat, 
some of them, it depends on what it is, will have a little bit of carb to it, but usually not if it's a if it's an animal protein. Um, so I'm hoping this makes sense to you. In the very beginning, some of you will complain of a headache and fatigue, and um, that would be considered a keto flu. I want you guys to keep your sodium at three grams per day. You eat high carbohydrate foods, guys, your body retains water. Okay, glucose holds on to water. When you get rid of that stuff in your diet, your kidneys start to work a little bit more efficiently and it gets rid of a lot of fluid. And you'll notice beginning this diet or way of life or whatever you want to call it, you will be urinating and running to the bathroom quite often early on. And when that happens, your body gets depleted of certain electrolytes and you have to keep your sodium levels high to avoid a headache. It's kind of like, you know, when you have a stomach virus and you're throwing up and you're having diarrhea. Sorry, TMI. I'm a nurse. You guys know that stuff doesn't bother me. But you know how you can get that headache because you're dehydrated. Same thing goes with this in the beginning. You can deplete yourself of electrolytes and get a headache. So keep your sodium high. And remember, guys, I'm not a doctor. So I, every client that I have has to be evaluated by their physician and they get a letter to me stating that they are good to go for this plan. So disclaimer here, I'm telling you to eat three grams of sodium. Make sure you get checked out by a doctor first. Do not take any of my advice without it because it's very important. You know, some people have cardiac backgrounds, some people have renal issues, and I don't want any of you to get sick. So make sure before starting any of this, you really should. You should see your doctor, get some labs, just basic baseline stuff, and your doctor's thumbs up. And if your doctor doesn't believe in it, go see another doctor. But if you're medically stable enough to do this, then this is my advice to you. So please, disclaimer. Woo -woo. <laughs> I don't want any of you sick. Okay. So um, I hope this is helping you. Um, again, protein 20%, carbs 5%, fat 75% of your daily intake. Keep your sodium in the beginning at 3 grams. 3 grams every day. And make sure you drink a lot of water so your kidneys are getting what they need to flush and um, to get the ketones going and moving and everything. You need to drink your water. Not crazy because you don't want to be dehydrated from urinating all the time. Just enough water. Eight glasses a day, guys. Eight to ten. That's all I ask. You don't have to drink half your body weight in water. In fact, that works against you. Don't do it. It's too much water. Um, unless your doctor tells you so. <laughs> I hope this video helped you understand macros a little bit and understand where to set them. And as you progress, if you see you're not losing, tweak them. If you see you're losing too fast, tweak them. This is just a starting point, okay? Hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and I will be happy to answer any questions you have. And until my next video, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.